so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and Hello, I am Chaplain Elisa. I'd like to welcome you in the name of the Lord to this memorial service and celebration of life as we honor, mourn, and remember our loved ones. God has created us to share one another's burdens. People have always gathered for many reasons, including comfort at the time of death. But at times we're prevented from gathering, and that's when we need to trust the power and the mystery of God's Spirit to join our hearts and our minds together, even when we are physically apart. So today I invite you to use this time together to celebrate the life and mourn the death of our loved ones. Listen to the stories and the music Add your own memories in your heart as you hear the words. Send healing thoughts of love and sympathy as you share the grief of others. Please join your hearts and thoughts with me together now as we begin our time in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, today we may feel sadness and maybe even shock we may be searching for answers, comfort, and peace. Help us as we acknowledge that the journey of grief is long. Help us in our confusion and our pain. Help each of us to know your closeness, that you never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, we look to you today to provide peace and comfort in our memories of our loved one. Fill us with the hope that is rooted in your promise of everlasting life for those who love you, a promise sealed by the power of Jesus's victory over death. Be close to us now, dear Lord, as we remember and grieve together. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Let us continue by worshiping together as we sing Abide With Me, 
The words will come up on your screen. Let us join together in song. pray Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Let's continue by singing, Be Still My Soul. Be Still My Soul. The words will appear on the screen. Apostle John wrote 
about Jesus. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Light is crucial to life, isn't it? We use lamps to read, to eat, to work. We use flashlights to help us walk and see in the dark. We use candles for birthdays, holidays, prayer. And light always banishes darkness. Right now, I want to invite you to pause the video and take a moment to find a candle, real or electric, or even a flashlight, whatever you have in your home that can break the darkness. So if you don't already have a source of light with you, pause the video here to gather it. And now let us light our lights together. We light these lights to create a sacred space of reflection and memories. We light them in thankfulness for our loved ones. And as we sit with our lights today, I want you to think of something about your loved one that brought light into this world. Maybe it was their laughter. Maybe it was their beautiful smile or the way that they quietly served the family or any other quality that you will always remember. That same light from your loved one has been passed on to you to hold in your memory. We also hold our lights to spread that warmth that light gives to each person who is grieving today. And we pledge to support one another with our shared warmth when times feel dark. Most of all, as we go on, we look to Jesus to light our way. Let us continue singing with be thou my vision, be thou my vision. The words will come up on the screen. as I heed not nor man's empty praise Thou mine inheritance now and always Thou and Thou only first in my heart I King of heaven my treasure Thou King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun. Out of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of I'd like to take some time now for us to think and talk about remembrance. How could you honor and remember your loved one, even today? There are so many ways. I'll put up a slide with a few examples here. You can enjoy your loved one's favorite food, dessert, or drink. You can plan a time to sit with your family and tell stories or look at photos. 
You can take a walk and watch the birds flying in freedom. Think of the freedom that your loved one now enjoys. Bring to mind the feel of your loved one's embrace. Recall the scent of their perfume or cologne. Hold that feeling in your heart as you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Play or sing one of their favorite songs. Find something that reminds you of your loved one. Place it where you will see it each day. If you'd like, you may pause the video here to discuss these ideas and one that you would like to choose to honor and remember your loved one. The Bible tells us that each good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. We remember that our loved ones were a precious gift from our Heavenly Father, and we are thankful for that gift in our lives. Let's join in another song. Let's sing Amazing Grace together. Here come the words on the screen. Let us close our time together in prayer. Heavenly Father, as it is written, you are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them, and the host of heaven worships you. Lord God, for our loved one who has passed on, we are grateful for their example of love and spirit in this life. We are grateful for the time we had together. We are grateful for the strength of family and friends today. We are grateful 
and for the sure hope of glory in the life everlasting, we are grateful. Be with us as we hold all of these memories and lessons. Use them to comfort us. Wrap us, O oh God, in your everlasting love and remind us daily of the love of Jesus who laid down his life for us that we might live with you forever. We ask your help and strength as we pledge to walk alongside others even from a distance after today, and we look to you in hope. Amen. Go in peace, and may God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>